All right, today we're just doing a quick uh, video about the Ameritron 811H amplifier. I'm not going to get too deep into the specs and, and all that, but I'll just tell you, uh, I'll show you tuning it up and uh, what my experience has been uh, using it and uh, how, how I feel about it after two years. So to start out, we got it uh, turned on here. Let's check our high voltage, sitting right at about 1.6, 1.7, good range. And... Uh, Everything zeroed out otherwise. So we're gonna just start on 40 meters good band to tune up We got a clear frequency and first what we're gonna do. Here's the power meter. We're using it's a nice accurate meter So I'll turn the radio power up to 100 watts. No amplifier see right there at 100 watts, so the uh, Meter's in good shape. So now we're gonna do we're gonna set our uh, input power power on the radio 30 watts And then we're gonna kick on the amplifier here and now I'm gonna adjust it and uh, we're gonna see what kind of power output we can get. Boom, tuning it up. And that looks like about it, about close to uh, 500 watts key down there. And that was with 30 watts in. So I'll let it rest for a second. And then we'll take that up to 60 watts, double it. And I think the, 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 the manual says no more than 70 watts input. I don't like to run it hotter than 60. It usually gets the job done. I don't think you're going to get all that much more out of it with, with those extra 10 watts. So anyway, you've got to set to uh, 60 watts in. And now go ahead and uh, key up and uh, adjust it. Adjusting those controls. Nice. So you can see hitting almost 700 watts and that's on key down that's for 60 watts input that's uh, key down and we'll just show you you know there's the 60 watts and uh let's see here's our meters key down not hitting the red that one's in the middle so looking uh, pretty good pretty safe for the uh, amplifier and then let's just put it on the upper side band, or excuse me lower side band here do a quick test and this is no no processor we're not driving the audio real hard one, two, three, oh, that's average power. <laughs> one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And you can see it's swinging up above 800. Now, if we just take the uh, load control here, do a little, little trick for SSB. We adjust it, you know, CW. We turn this up a little bit, it's just like a hair. Uh, it'll peak audio, one, two, three, four. It'll peak up a little bit higher. And uh, anyway, so it's got good output uh, down here on 40 meters, as you can see. And uh, yeah, nice solid performer there. Now let's go up, let's try 10 meters. So on, on uh, everything above 10 and 12, or excuse me, below, it's got nice, it'll do 800 watts, swing up to 800 watts on SSB, no problems. But uh, it's outputs a, a little closer to 600 watts or so on 10 meters. So uh, we're on 10 meters now. You got this, we're gonna switch it over to the aux position. You have to cut a wire to get 10 meters, but it's very easy. Now we'll, we'll approximate uh, here with our controls. And now we'll turn this on and I'll back the power off to about 50 watts just for the tune up. And so now I will uh, tune it up here on 10 meters. And there's about 500 watts. Um, about 500 watts dead key on 10 meters. But as you notice, we come over here to the meter, that's about about where it was on 40 meters with 60 watts in terms of the gauges. So you can't, it, it just reacts differently on 10 meters. You don't want to drive it quite as hard um, because it's, your values are already getting close to uh, exceeding the limits. And that's at 50 watts. And the other issue, small issue, I guess, is SWR on 10 meters is kind of high input SWR and you can adjust it but to be honest I've tried mess with it a lot and I can't get it to be much better than about two so I usually just hit the tune button here on the radio use the internal tuner and that does help somewhat get a little bit more power out yeah this is with 50 watts so I'll, I'll take you up to 60 so we have an accurate uh, comparison and this is with a tune button on by the way on the radio so we're using the internal tuner and uh, keying up the amplifier here you can see you got close to 600 on key down but that's uh our values are a little a lot higher uh being close to the red with the uh the plate current but anyway so now if we take it over to uh ssb upper side band test one two three four there's average five six seven eight one two three four and it still does peak up there pretty good 
let me just move the load control a little bit. Audio, one, two, three, four. So you can see, you have to run it a little bit harder. I might have to use a tuner, but it does definitely work on 10 meters. So no issues there. And all the other bands, especially the low bands, it's a piece of cake. And uh, so overall, it's just been a good amplifier. I feel like it definitely gets pretty hot. So I installed a fan on the side. That's a good idea. Or you can get a kit for the fan uh, on the back side there. And uh, yeah, so it's it's working pretty good. In my two years, I've only had a few issues with it. Um, and that is primarily it, one of the tubes arced. I don't know if it was a bad tube or, or what caused it really, but uh, a yeah, tube had a had an issue. And so it arced, and obviously I had to you know test and figure out which tube and put a new tube in. And then uh, when the tube arcs it's very common that it fries a little diode behind these meters and then it makes the meters read all wonky so i had to get a diode and replace that and that was a very easy fix a new tube new diode it, you know the tube was like 70 bucks i think diodes you know a dollar or less and it's worked fine since then so i don't really know what happened but uh things do happen it's a tube amplifier so just you know be careful you don't want to overdrive it and i have you know on accident put 100 watts into it for a little bit without realizing it didn't blow up on me but you definitely don't want to do that for a uh, for a long period of time and uh let's see is there anything else uh of note on here not really uh meters i think work pretty good seem pretty accurate unless of course your diode is fried and they're going to read all wonky and definitely just have have a fan on it but overall solid amplifier obviously maritron mfjs you know gone out of business but to be honest if you, these come up used a lot, there's a super common amplifier in this and the 811. But the 811H, you know, high power, four 811 tubes, uh, works very well. And just for the money, I don't think you can get, you know, 800 watts. Jabril, as you saw, 800 watts from uh, much else. So in my experience, it's, it's worked well. I've used it in contests, used it, you know, for long periods of time, rag chewing. I've, I've done a little bit of FT8 on it and digital modes. And, you know, it does work. And you can use it on AM as well. But it's not meant for a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, carry your key down for a long time. So you got to be quick with it and not run too much power. But it does okay on, on FT8 short cycles. Um, if you really wanted to, you can get about, uh, if you run 5 watts into it, so minimum output on this radio, you'll get about, depending on the band, 100 to, to 150 watts output. So you can use it if you want to use a QRP radio and amplify it up. It'll, it'll work just fine for that. But uh, anyway, those are my thoughts. So... Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, good luck if you decide to buy the amplifier. I think it's a good investment. If you don't want to spend too much money, but you want to amp, uh, I don't think you can go wrong with it.